Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different, but I'm really looking forward to sharing it. Today I'm sharing 10 things that I am not buying in 2023. I'm just gonna be super real with you all. Inflation hurts, it is kicking my butt. And watching my grocery bill go up drastically over the last few months has made me wanna start taking financial minimalism and intentional spending very seriously. I've never done anything like this before, but I'm really excited to see how it goes. So I just kind of picked 10 areas of my life that I'm going to stop spending entirely or spend very differently this year. And I'm really excited about it. Okay, so the first thing I'm not buying at all in 2023 is any new furniture. If you're new here, I just moved across the country like six weeks ago with literally no furniture. I made it a goal to furnish our new place entirely for free. So far we've gotten a bed, couch, chair, ottoman, bookshelf, Shelf and two dressers entirely for free and dining chairs the only thing we paid for was we paid $50 for a used dining table on marketplace which honestly I'm okay with and I am gonna try and flip something else to cover the cost so we come out net zero the second thing I'm not buying at all in 2023 is any new clothes I've been downsizing a lot over the last couple of years and really just realizing how much time energy and money I've put into clothing that either I didn't love or that didn't last very long it's nuts and I don't want to do that anymore I've been trying to buy a lot more high quality items but this year I'm also challenging myself to just stop buying new. Ottawa has a lot of really great thrift stores and also I've just discovered the wonderful world of Facebook Marketplace. I've gotten so many things on Facebook Marketplace especially in Vancouver I got a bunch of like Aritzia stuff that was in great shape. It had just been worn a few times for like half the cost of what it would have been new. Poshmark is a great option as well. I know that's quite similar and I believe ThreadUp does the same thing, but I don't know if they ship to Canada or not. Fast fashion is a serious problem for so many reasons and I'm really sick of supporting it, especially given that I don't think it's actually adding to my life at all. The only exception that I am writing into this for myself is I know that I am a bridesmaid next year and so I'm gonna have to buy a couple things for that, but that doesn't count in my mind. Other than that, no new clothes. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm building an expense tracker. So I'm gonna keep detailed records of everything I buy, not just in these categories, but like if I step out of line and I break any of these rules, A, I will know, B, I will talk about it in a monthly reset video, which means I then have to justify it on the internet. So that adds a little bit of extra accountability for me. Okay, number three, and I'm not gonna lie to you, this one hurts. In 2023, I am not buying any new books. I've finally been getting back into reading for fun and wow, does it feel good, but it's not a cheap habit the way that I really like to do it. I could probably call shopping at Indigo a hobby just because of the sheer amount of time and energy that I spend there. I love walking through Indigo. I love buying physical books, but unless it's a book that I want to reread multiple times, buying it new just doesn't really make sense. I'm actually thinking of slash planning to purchase a Kindle on Boxing Day this year because I've been really wanting to get into e-reading. The other option, and I think this is a very underrated one, is to actually start thrifting books. I can't tell you how many times I found like exact books that I wanted to read at thrift stores. One of the best books that I read last year was Educated by Tara Westover, and I found it at a thrift store for a toonie. In 2023, I'm not buying food that hasn't been planned. Food is really expensive right now, and I really, really don't want to waste it. So I want to be super intentional next year about buying food that doesn't just like look good like I'm not just walking through the grocery store like hmm, yeah maybe I'll make that this week so I'm gonna be really diligent with planning my meals writing out very specific grocery lists and I'm actually looking quite seriously into starting up HelloFresh again with the amount that like grocery stores have raised their prices it's looking more and more affordable and I do love how easy it is so I'll probably start that up again in January I've also started using a couple of different apps that are helping me plan out my grocery trips and save a ton of money with them so I might make a video on that next month actually because I feel like everyone could use that right now one thing I'm so sick of paying for and I'm not doing any more in 2023 is paying for subscriptions that I don't use at least once a week. We live in a world where you can literally subscribe to anything, which is great. And speaking of, make sure to click the subscribe button down below because it's free and you don't wanna miss any videos coming up in the next little bit about building new habits and resetting for the new year and starting over to make 2023 your best year ever. I won't even charge you anything, but it's super easy to end up paying a ton of money every single month for subscriptions that you don't even use. I've been in the process of just trying to get really harsh with myself, get very real about what I use and what I don't use. And if it's not something I use every week, I'm out. Okay, the next thing I'm not buying in 2023 is low quality versions of what I'm actually trying to get. I feel like I got in this bad habit starting in like high school of just always feeling like I shouldn't spend money on something high quality because it was expensive. So I should just get whatever felt more comfortable to spend on. I moved to Vancouver in 2017 and I refused to invest in blend stones or like good quality 
waterproof shoes. For two years, I just kept buying cheap ones um, and, and, and then having to replace and then having to replace them. I've now had my Blundstones for three years and I wear them in the fall and winter like three to five times a week, every single week, and they're still in incredible condition. I would have saved myself so much time and so much money if I had just started out by buying those in the first place. Sometimes getting the highest quality of something is not an option and I totally get that and I'm gonna have that grace for myself also, but if I can hold off before getting something, I wanna hold off and try and save up to get a good quality version. Ooh, okay, this one hurts, but I'm going on a no buy ban. I'm going on a buy ban. Yeah, not a no buy ban, a buy ban from notebooks and physical planners in 2023. I am a writer by nature, personality, and career, and I have been unofficially collecting notebooks since I was like three. I literally used to have drawers in my parents' house growing up of all of my different journals and notebooks that I'd write in for like three pages and then stop. But I have developed carpal tunnel syndrome and it is not great. And writing in physical notebooks and planners irritates it more than anything. So I have gone from being a time blocking, pen on paper, journaling my heart out kind of girl to fully transitioning to digital planning this year. I recently uploaded a video all about how I'm doing that. So I won't go into detail here. You can check that out if you want more information, but I'm not gonna buy any physical notebooks or planners this year because I know that I can't and should not be using them because it's literally gonna hurt me. <laughs> Next one, I am not buying any water bottles in 2023. I don't know why, but this is just one of those little areas where I'm always like, you know, I could use another water bottle, which is weird because I work from home and I use my Yeti pretty much every single day, but like I don't ever use my other water bottles. So no more water bottles for me. I don't need them. Number nine, this one I'm really excited about. In 2023, I'm not buying any physical gifts for people. There are so many different life events that we buy gifts for people for. And I just feel like I've received so many physical gifts that either I didn't necessarily love or it wasn't really like what I would have wanted to use that money or gift for. And like, totally still appreciate the thought, the effort, the energy that somebody put into it. But I just decided that this year, if I'm giving something to someone, I want to try and give them an experience instead. A gift card to a restaurant or a gift card to a spa or whatever, or just give them a gift card to a specific store that I know they like. The only exception, I'm going to a bunch of weddings this next year. I probably will get couples something off of their registry if I know it's a specific item that they want. Or if a friend of mine has told me they really want this specific thing, then I'm not gonna, get them a gift card just to be stubborn, you know? Okay, and then the last thing that I'm not buying in 2023 is hobby supplies. Over the last couple of years, it's kind of been a goal of mine to establish more creative hobbies because my tendency is if I have free time, I should probably just do more work. It doesn't result in the healthiest work-life balance. The problem though, is that I have spent so much time and money on hobbies that never really got off the ground, never went anywhere. Previously, that's left me with a lot of clutter and a lot of things I didn't really know like what to do with because I wasn't actually really gonna use them, but I didn't wanna throw them out. No more hobby supplies. I will find ways to try something before investing my money and space into it. Those are the 10 things that I am not buying in 2023. I'm really excited for this challenge. I think it's going to be a good way to kind of be more involved and invested in where my money is going. I will be updating you guys every month in my monthly reset videos, so definitely make sure to subscribe so you can stick around for those. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know. It really, really helps my channel and it means more to me than I can possibly tell you. I hope you have a good day because today is a good day to have a good day. And that's all. <laughs> Bye.